Hello everybody, my name is Frank Tark and I'd like to introduce you to Simply Painting. Now what is Simply Painting? Let me tell you a little bit about it. Many years ago, over 30, I started to paint. But my problem was I found it very difficult to get anybody to show me how to start. Because when I went to a class they assumed because I was there that I could already paint. And of course this wasn't the case. <laughs> so I devised a little system because believe it or not I started to teach and I couldn't paint properly. <laughs> However it was called have some more fun and the idea of this was to get somebody to start from the very beginning and break their picture into four little simple elements and that's what we're going to do and those elements are horizon which is the horizon line the sky the middle ground and the foreground those are the four things we make up a landscape of and that's what we're going to show you how to do now but before we do that we need some materials so let's go through the materials now this time what I'm going to show you is acrylic acrylic paint is pretty new. It was invented about 1950, not so long ago in the art world, only what just over 50, 60 years. And the great thing about it is it mixes with water, not like oil which mixes with medium, which is linseed and oil. And it can be smelly. Mm. I don't really like oil for that reason. However, acrylic is different. Because it mixes with water, it's easy to clean your brushes. It, 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 your brushes will be safer. And as well as that, we can actually make it work as watercolours as well as acrylic. Because if you add more water, it becomes, what would I call it, uh, more uh, transparent. Probably the word I'm looking for. And because of that, it looks like watercolours. But we're going to paint it as if it was oils this time. So without further ado, let's do that. Let's show you what materials you need to paint acrylic. First, of course, in any painting <laughs> job, the first thing you need is you need some paints. And these paints here are called, as I said, acrylic paint. And we have 12 tubes. Now the 12 tubes are made up of two white because we, we use a lot of white. We have two blue, we have a green, we have two browns, we have three reds, we have a raw sienna and a lemon yellow. I'll give you the names later but I don't want to spend too much time boring you with the names of all the paint. As we're using them I will tell you. But there's 12 tubes. That's the first thing we need. So we put them there, they're in a box. The next thing of course is when you've got your paint the next thing you need is you need some brushes and in this case we have four brushes starting with this is a one and a half inch one and a half inch and it's bristle it's not goat hair it's bristle it's stiff and it's square you see it hmm? secondly we have a one and a half inch but this one is different because it is what we call filbert. It's round the top of it. And that will give us different shapes. It's again, it's bristle. The third brush is a number eight, filbert. Again, it's round. I like round brushes, don't I? But this is a smaller brush and for more detail work. That's our third brush. And our fourth brush, this is our pen or our pencil. It's called a rigger. It's a nylon brush. And it's for making small marks on your paper or your canvas or whatever you happen to be painting on. Because the great thing about acrylic paint is you can use it on anything. You can use it on canvas exactly the same as if it was oils. You can use it on a board. You can use it on paper, which we're going to do. It's a, it's a fairly stiff paper. You can actually, and I'll show you later on, you can actually use it on a plate, on a jumper. You could paint it on, on a newspaper indeed. So in other words, it's very versatile. You can nearly use it for anything. It's, 
what I would call the paint that everybody waited for. So we got the four brushes. The next thing we need is, we, we need something to put the paint out on. And this is called a palette. Now a palette means it's a piece of paper, but it can tear off. And you put your paint out on that, and then you take it from there and put it onto your canvas or your whatever the surface you're going to use. So you need that. The next thing you need are some cloths. These are just to control the water on the brush. Remember, it's water you mix acrylic with. And that's the great thing about it. But be sure to keep your brushes in the water while you're painting. Because if you don't, they will get hard. And when you finish painting, always remember to wash your brushes out well. So to do that, of course, we need some water. And here we have a little container of water. Well, a big container, because the bigger the better. Then we have a board. This is to put our, our piece of paper or a canvas on. Now you can also use an easel. This is what most oil painting artists use. It's more upright than this, it's up like that. And you put it on it and it's got, got three legs on it and you can take it about with you. I prefer if I'm sitting at home at the table to just use a simple board. But by all means, if somebody's good enough to buy an easel for you, maybe a little hint at Christmas, you know. I, I'd like a, 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 an easel, yeah. Somebody might buy you one. But you don't need it to start. That's what I'm trying to say. So those are your materials. We have them all together now. So now we're ready to start painting. So let's get to it. Well, we now know the materials we're going to use. Now we've got to show you how to use them. So let's start at the very end. The hardest thing to do in painting is to draw a figure, a human figure, person, me. No, it's not. So let me prove to you how simple it is. So I'm going to put out some paint. I'm going to put out some burnt umber. And I'm going to put out some raw sienna. This is a dark brown and a light brown. And I'm going to put out some blue and some yellow. Maybe blue and red. Let's see, we have a look. There's blue. There's yellow. And last, by no means least, now always put the top back. Always on your paint. Otherwise paint gets hard. And you don't want that, do you? No. Okay, so we got five colours out for our people. Now what I want you to do for me is forget people. Forget it. Take small brush, wet. And the first one we start off with is raw sienna. And up here we're going to draw a carrot. Does everybody know what a carrot looks like, huh? There's carrot. And beside that carrot, we draw another carrot. And in your case, you can go right across the page and do this. But I'm going to show you quickly. Now, on this carrot here, I'm going to put no legs, no arms, and believe it or not, when I come back here and put dot on the top, we have a man walking away from us. Now, beside the man, we're going to put different type carrot. This is lady carrot. Now the difference is the man his head is disconnected from his body where the lady carrot has head well screwed on as we know and man's head is usually disconnected from his body when he's with female carrot yes <laughs> all right now let's go on and do it a little differently if you do 10 of those things start to happen one i just know many people like yellow
So we come out here, we make yellow. And then we put legs. And again, and we make it female, because females like yellow. Many females. Also, we can put arms. Because this female has friend. And the friend is small carrot. See? Uh, but the thing about the small carrot is that the head is slightly bigger. Baby carrots have bigger heads than grown up carrots. Now we must join up the two, so we put arm. And you see we draw a line underneath there, and underneath there, and that gives you people. That's easy, isn't it? So no need to worry about putting people into pictures. Now you might say, everybody walks away. What about somebody comes towards us? Watch. This time we may make it blue. You must practice this all the time. When you finish, or before you start, start, put in again the body. <laughs> Isn't this easy? I hope you try this now. And we put trousers on this person. Man, man carrot. Can be either, but I think. And then how do we how do we make it come towards us? Well now. See? Face. But we don't draw the face. No, 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 no. They don't need for that a little shadow there. See? Person comes towards you. That's easy, isn't it? So that's enough about the carrots. We've done that now, haven't we? We can, we can make it slightly, you can, slightly, that's maybe better. And the arms mightn't be quite right, so you can, you can, this is called doodling. Doodling. It means playing about with paint. So there's people. Now, what we do next? How about we draw or paint a house? Yes? Okay. So, again with the brush, because with the acrylic paint, we can cover it very easily. So we make a V upside down, and, an, and a line there, and then you join up. See? So that's one house, and we add another house onto it, look. So it has and then one, two, three. Three legs and a chimney. And then some windows. Now all a window is, is one line down. And we put another one there. That's all. We can fill in the rest in a minute, you'll see, once it's dry, and then we put the door. Now we make the door red door. And we make another door blue door. And then we put roof. Raw Sienna. I like this. Do you? It's fun. You can practice this. 
See? It's very easy if you make it simple. And we put a little bit of little bit of line there, a little bit of line, black line there, make the door. And then we need some yellow and some blue and we get green, yes? Oh, we can put out some green. Let's see, we got some green. We have some green paint here somewhere. Where is it? Where, where it's gone, gone. Yeah, we can't find it. Doesn't matter. We, we find it in a minute. Oh, look, it's there. Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. There we go. Put a little bit of green out. Must punch a hole in it. There we go. What makes green? Yellow. I'll add a bit of green to that. And we get nice grass, see? And underneath the house. And we put a little what little railings. Same, same here. Don't make straight lines. And maybe, maybe, look, look. Put person, little carrot. What, what it does when you use carrots is it gives you scale. Okay? And of course we can do this. Little bird, house, okay? So we have people, we have house. We can put the people into the house, make scale. Now let's try something else. How about a bush? Bigger, bigger, bigger brush needed. And we take some that, some that, and a bit of the yellow. All oh, that's yellow, some raw sienna. And look, with the corner of the brush, make tree. It's only dab, dab, dab. Watch now, I show you again. Oh, there. It's right. Nice trees. And now a little brown on it. Make it darker. And then you can run your nail up along that. It's simple. A little nail. That's it. There's some trees. But they are bushes really, not big tree. So how do we do big tree? Always put the brush back into the water, otherwise it gets hard. And I have brown finger. <laughs> okay, so tree. Take some brown, which is burnt umber, and we make tree, where we make a tree here. Wobble. This is good practice. Make you go out to have paint trees. Okay, tree. Now, how we put leaves on the tree? Some more yellow. My friend, the yellow. Put some more yellow out here. And mix yellow with some of the raw sienna, some of the yellow, and some of the green, all together. See? A little darker, covers up some of the... We don't want to see all the branches, do we? No, no. And then... And maybe just make the tree a little bigger at the bottom because trees have to be strong so the wind doesn't blow them away. So, and a bit of shadow coming that way. 
there's a tree. Let me put a little bit, a little bit light there. Okay, tree. You get that? So it's simple, isn't it, really? All you have to do is just learn these things and then we can make landscapes. Hmm? Okay, put that back. Next, now we're going to paint a bridge. Your bridge for to go over the river. Okay, so we get some of our blue there. It's brown for the start. We're running out of that. Very difficult to paint without paint. But many people try. So you don't be one of those. Don't be mean. It's funny, but people who paint are very mean with paint. Now, we put bridge here. I make first arch of the bridge. Yep. And then I make the top of the bridge. Hey, we can make it, join it up there, couldn't we? Yeah, <laughs> there. Then we make the bottom of the bridge. The bridge goes out there. Now, to make bridge wider looking, See, I fill in see see the way bridge looks now I make some blocks on the bridge this is all with with the burnt umber but of course you can change colors of the little stones top of the bridge yeah I like. Maybe bridge going here. Yeah, we can put the some finish it off a bit there, so the bridge comes out beside the tree. <laughs> now this is we just make a little picture for fun. Then we have to paint in some of this, fill it in. So we take some of the if I find the raw sienna, a little bit more. Put it down here. And to the raw sienna we add some blue. Now you don't worry, don't you worry about mixing paint. That'll all be shown to you as we go ahead through the show. And when we paint the full landscape, you'll see. Now, see? Raw sienna, lots of water. Now, obviously, we have riverbank, so riverbank must come this way. Never, and this way. See, water comes down here. So we take blue. <laughs> it's simple, isn't it? See, what we're doing is we're showing you all the little bits you can put into your pictures. And you can add. You can add to these, of course. And we put under the bridge, maybe, you can see out the far side, a little, little bit of greenery. See? Far side of the bridge, out to underneath. Now, underneath the bridge itself will be dark. Why? Because it's in shadow. So we make shadow. See? Under the bridge, I can see through the bridge. Then, change to small filbert brush this one and we use with green make some river bank so join it up and then maybe make some with brown hey this is fun isn't it? fun isn't it okay change back to the other brush now again put a few more little stones in there And what else can we do to finish this off, huh? I think I know. Carrot. 
with black head, carrot, and finally bird, bird. Simple. They're all the bits and pieces you need to paint your landscapes. Now we're going to paint an actual landscape for you. Well, here we are. We're ready to go now. We know about our materials, so now let's use them. And first of all, let's see the paints we need to paint our first picture. And they are lemon yellow, cobalt blue, burnt umber. We have raw sienna and we have some white. So we put those to one side now. We're going to have to punch a little hole in them because they all take You'll see what I mean in a minute. Punch. To open the tube the first time, it's always necessary to do that. See? Oh, that's a, oh fun. Can't wait to get started. What about that? Yeah. Our first acrylic painting. Yes. Now, there we are. Now, if you remember when I started in the very beginning, I said we had a little system and the little system was have some more fun or horizon, sky, middle ground and foreground. So the first thing we do is we draw the horizon line and I'm going to take a ruler but this case I've got a little mount which I'm going to use later. It's very handy to do as a ruler as well and I'm going to draw a line across like so and that is my horizon line. Now, for those of you who are interested in drawing and all that sort of thing, and people say, oh, I can't even draw a straight line. Well, there you go, with a ruler and a pencil, it's very simple. Honestly, even I can do it. There we are, and we're finished. No more, that's it. There's your a quick course in drawing. That's all we need. Now, next is the sky. So now we've got to put some paint out. We put out some blue, which is the cobalt, and we're going to put out some of the white, which is white, <laughs> obviously. And we're going to take our big brush, the one and a half inch brush, and I'm going to put some white on it and a little bit of the blue. Mix the two together and start off from the top. Now this is like, just like painting a door. Hey, we can... Da, 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 da. And you can whistle and sing when they're doing this, there's no... I add a little water, it makes it more watery. Now believe it or not... See, there we go. You've got to cover this. You've got a whole piece of paper right down to the horizon line first. That's the first thing you've got to do. Now it dries really quick and even quicker in a studio. Do you know why? Because around me there are lights, many, many lights. That's why you get many, many shadows. Our director today, he was going mad. He couldn't get rid of one of the shadows. <laughs> but we did, we did. In the end, he's very good. He's a nice man. He probably beat me up for saying that, but who cares, huh? Okay. This is quick as you like. I'm going to go. I'm not going to go right down to the bottom. Then I'm going to give it a coup, a few, and I'm going to put out more white. We have two tubes of white paint, and you'll see why. Because we need more white than we we need of anything else. That's the first coat. <laughs> first coat of paint is nearly ready. I finished. See it drying so quickly. That's the beauty of acrylic. Now you can slow up the drying process. There's a thing called retarder. And you add it to your paint and it goes slower. It doesn't dry so quickly. Ah, I'm never happier than when I'm painting, you know. It's an amazing thing. Look, there's the, just put it in some clouds. There's a few hairs coming out of them. The brushes, that always happens when they're new, but eventually it stops doing it. See the idea? I'm creating some clouds. Now I could use my filbert brush and you'll see why. 
I'll show you. Watch. Filbert brush is round, so when I put it on, it, it does round brush strokes. Not handy. Yeah, I'm quite liking this now. Just another bit of white there. I think that's quite nice now, isn't it? Go on, say it's nice. Say it's easy. That's the main thing. You know, if we can get you to do one thing here before this programs are finished, or the programs are finished, and that is that you say, I could do that. Then I'm happy, because you could. Now keep your brush in the water, and that's the first bit done. I can go back on the sky. With acrylic, you can go over it and over it and over it. I don't call it fixing it. I call it changing it. So the next thing is now we need to put in some mountains, which is down here on the horizon line. All right, so what color would we make the mountains? Well, we need some blue again. And we might put a little bit of the raw sienna in this time. And we can take either brush, it doesn't matter. I'm always happy when I'm using the big brush because it's quicker, can work much faster with it. Now let's take some of the, mix the two together, raw sienna, lemon yellow. Raw sienna, lemon, who said lemon yellow? Not me. This is cobalt blue, isn't it? It is, yeah. Cobalt blue and some raw sienna. And there's my, my mountains. See, now don't be, don't be too particular. You know, this is a painting, it's not a photograph. If you want a photograph, take one. Leave it nice like, I can see nice mountains. Can you see that in the clouds? Hmm, I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna add in one of my favorite colors. It's called lemon yellow. What happens is this. As you come closer, the colors get brighter. And again, same brush. Look at that. This is easy, isn't it? As a matter of fact, it is no different than painting watercolors. And the funny thing is, I had some friends, I was giving a class the other day, and there were wonderful, wonderful people at it. And I said to them, I'll get some paint there, that you can, you can paint watercolours, you can paint everything. And that's quite true. Now what I'm doing is, see, I'm adding in some burnt umber, this is brown. And that's perfectly true. But the other is, is not always the same. But we're using the same method to paint. It's the Simply Painting method to paint this landscape that we would do if we were using watercolours. Because I'm treating them exactly the same. Now the paint is thicker, of course. But that's fine. I'm using very little water. You can use the paint almost directly from the tube. Yeah. I nearly have it finished now, this part. Yeah, I'm adding in little highlights. This is the middle ground. Now next, clean the brush again. Next I'm going to paint some water. Because what I'm doing now is I'm showing you that we draw the horizon line, then we paint the sky, then we paint the mountains, then we paint the middle ground. So this is all in the middle ground. We're now going underneath the horizon line. And you know, with acrylic, it doesn't make any difference if you go underneath, if you go too far down, because you can go over it and over it and over it. But we're going to put in some water next. So, back to the blue. Ah, I'm never happier. You know, the thing about painting is this, that if you have a headache, oh, sore head, oh dear, and if you paint, I bet you the headache goes away. It does, because this is different side of your head. You paint from the right hand side. All the headaches are in the other side. 
So if you use this side, that's true though. I don't kid you. Okay, here I go, blue. Now this needs to be pretty watery to start. So look. Just add more water, isn't it? That was easy, wasn't it? It is exactly like painting a door. Now many artists don't like when I say that. They say, oh no, 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 it's not. not. Art is a gift. It's not a gift. The thing about painting is, if you want to do it, you'll be able to do it. The only difference is that it is a good idea to know where and how to start. Do you understand that? Can you imagine if I hand you a ball of wool, you know, wool from the sheep, and I hand you two knitting needles and say, knit a jumper, and you go, and if you are not shown how, how can you do it? You can't. Same with painting. That's why I'm showing you. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more of the the dark just along there because we can go over it. I told you that we can go on. It's new good, yeah. Okay, now something else. I'm going to make a piece of land here. Now, the bottom of that piece of land, this part, must be parallel to the horizon line. You understand what I'm saying there? You do. Now, we can bring it over to there. Yeah, it's good. See if it's straight. And then, this is where the brush is. Do. This is how you can do this with bristle. The bristle brush is stiff. Now the other day when we were doing our class, same thing, I showed them this with the watercolour way. The corner of the brush, this corner. Ah, see that? Do you know, I'll tell you a little story. You hear people were fired from their job, let go, dismissed. Do you know why they say fired? Well, <laughs> in, in ancient times, many years ago, if a landlord did not like somebody who worked for him, <laughs> he would burn his house. So it was called being fired. Burn the poor man's house down. Terrible. There you are, piece of useless information. Now I need some more brown. Brown, 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 there we go. And underneath here, And also here. Are you watching this? I hope you're trying this. There's no good in me. I can do this. No good in me doing it and you not. Now I, I have the same thing as watercolor. This is called my nail brush. Then be careful with acrylic. You got to; it'll stay on your finger, and you'll have brown finger. Now, put some more little bushes in there. See, corner of the brush. This is exactly the same as oil. No different, but the difference is that I don't have to wait for it to dry because this is dry almost immediately. Whereas with oil, with with some colours in oil painting like cadmium red, takes nine months for it to dry. Nine months. They used to say you could have a child quicker. There you go. Now, so that's that bit. Now we're coming down here to the bottom. 
I'll probably put in some more white up here in a minute. But let's, let's make shadow here. See? Reflection. Now, I know you can do this. Now, we'll do a bit of finishing on that in a minute, but we look here now, we say, yeah, we're going pretty good now. I can now change, if I want to, my very small brush, because, but I usually don't do this till the end, but I'm going to show you now. See, that's just to make the river bank. And that must be straight. Well, straightish. Okay, and same here. Oh my, you know, time passes when, when you're painting. You don't notice. You can sit down in the morning and you can paint away all by yourself for maybe six hours and not even know it. I'm beginning to like this picture. But again, as I say, no good me doing it. It must be you. Now, raw sienna. Now, clean my brush with water. I leave the other ones in water. Now. Now, look at that, yes, now. Ah, well, not nice, no time. Time, no time. And now I do darker. Darker at the bottom, see? These are reeds or rushes, aren't they? Come on, they are. Our picture's nearly finished. Hmm? Let me see. I think we're nearly there. We can we can do one or two little things now. First of all, put a little bush there. And um, I have two friends. Must make up some paint for my friends. This is small brush. Oh, do you know what? Maybe a little more white. Should we? No, no, no. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. They're my two friends, the birds. And this time, because it's acrylic, I put another bird in there. So we got three birds. And then we have little, oops, I've got my brush in there. We have a little mount. But before we put the little mount on, most important of all, watch this. What am I going to do now? I'm going to make some brown. Some blue, make dark colour. And I'm going to sign this. And you must do the same. And then, when it's signed, remember the little mount I said we had? Well, I say to you, we now put the mount on and let's see what the picture looks like. This will be our first picture. A little bit curly, but it, it'll flatten itself, see, when we hold it down like that. So, from Frank Clark, that's all for this lesson. Until we meet again, maybe you come visit my website, simplypainting.com. But until we meet again, goodbye.
Frank has put together this fabulous acrylic special offer which comprises Frank's four brush set, 12 12 milliliter tubes of artist quality acrylic paint, Frank's Anyone Can Paint With Acrylics book, two acrylic lesson booklets and Frank's new Introduction to Acrylics DVD. It's superb value at only €39 or £27 sterling. Telephone the numbers for your region on screen or visit www.simplypainting.com for Frank's full range of products.